Love Island star Jacques O'Neill is reportedly dating Norwegian influencer Isabel Rod. The rugby player, 23, was recently spotted looking cozy with the blogger, who is currently staying with him in Manchester. It comes after his ex Paige Thorne deleted all photos of her boyfriend Adam Collard from her Instagram amid rumors the couple are taking a break after cheating allegations. A source told The Sun, Isabel is really famous in Norway and has a huge following. She's really hit it off with Ock and is enjoying spending time with him in the UK. They added, Isabel is here a lot and friends think things could be serious. Isabel previously appeared on American reality show Paradise Hotel in 2015 and now has over 300k followers on Instagram. Isabel recently made her feelings clear about Jacques during a Q&A on social media recently when quizzed about her favorite Highlander. She replied, of course you baby, and tagged the rugby player in the post. On Thursday she deleted all pictures of Adam from her Instagram amid rumors the couple are taking a break after cheating allegations. The pair have been plagued by rumors as of late after a video emerged of the personal trainer, 26, with his arm around another girl in McDonald's. And Paige has now deleted all trace of him from her page, removing their loved up snaps from both inside and outside the Love Island villa. A source has now told Mail Online, she's in a very low place at the moment. Adam currently still has all of his snaps with Paige on his Instagram and the pair remain following each other on social media. However, fans are concerned for Adam and Paige's relationship status as the pair appeared to be enjoying some time apart. Paige's representatives have been contacted by Mail Online for comment. It comes after she put on a very cozy display with her former Love Island co-star Billy Brown while attending Ekansu Kulkulola Sopali launch party on Wednesday. In the Mail Online exclusive video, Paige seemed smitten with Billy, 23, who appears to lean in to kiss her cheek while she rubs her hand down to his lower back. Whilst in the villa earlier this summer, Paige shut down Billy's advances, ultimately calling time on their flirtations so she could remain with Ock O'Neill, before subsequently moving on with Adam. But Paige and Adam have been plagued by rumors as of late after a clip emerged of the personal trainer, 26, with his arm around another girl in McDonald's. She also failed to like Adam's recent Instagram snaps and fans recently noticed that since he jetted off to Bali on a fitness retreat, the paramedic hasn't been supporting her partner on social media. The couple, who appeared on both season 4 and 8 of Love Island, became official back in August after leaving the famous villa. In a recent video that emerged on social media, personal trainer Adam was spotted with his arm around another girl after ending up in McDonald's after a boozy night out. Adam's rep told The Sun, Adam headed to McDonald's after a night out with friends. His friends were alongside him when a group of girls asked for photos and Adam being his friendly self was open to posing and chatting to the girls, alongside other fans who wanted to chat in the same video. Adam understands how this video looks but wants to state that he left the restaurant with his friends and a box of 60 nuggets, with nothing or no one else, with the intention of getting home safely. Adam and Paige are currently dating and Adam only has eyes for her. A source claimed to The Sun on Wednesday that Paige is really upset by everything that has gone on and feels like she is being humiliated. She believes Adam didn't do anything and knows women throw themselves at him. But it doesn't mean she doesn't find it difficult when people start gossiping about their relationship and share it on social media. 
Page had told Adam she needs a break and to spend some time away from him. Adam was a controversial figure during his first stint in the villa, with some of his scenes even sparking concerns with bosses at domestic abuse charity Women's Aid. Adam locked horns with his then-partner Rosie Williams in an explosive confrontation, during which he was widely criticized by viewers for smirking throughout the argument and later leaving her in hysterical tears. Voicing concern over Adam's actions, which saw him move on to Zara, Katie Goes, chief executive of Women's Aid, said, on the latest series of Love Island, there are clear warning signs in Adam's behavior. Adam was a late arrival into the villa and was initially paired with Kendall Ray Knight before Rosie was his next partnership. The business owner maintained a player reputation after his stint on the show but Paige recently revealed that the ITV producers pushed her to give him a chance. Speaking on FUBAR Radio with Bobby Norris and Stephen Lang, the former contestant confessed that she didn't even know who the bombshell was, despite being warned he was a massive player by the other girls in the villa. She explained, all the girls were like Paige this is Adam, I was like, why are you saying his name like that? I don't know who he is. They gave me the lowdown and they were rinsing him, proper giving me the insights on what he used to be like, she continued. Then I was like, well, if he was like that then what is he doing in here? Has just going to be a little st stirrer. I was going off dot but the paramedic, who was paired with Jacques prior to his exit, then revealed that producers had pulled her aside to try and persuade her to give Adam a chance. I got pulled aside and they, producers, were like, Paige why are you already writing him off before you've had a chance? She added. I was like, because of what the girls have been saying. I don't need to have a chat with him to know Terry's not going to be a difference. And they were like, no, be open-minded and just talk to him and give him a chance. I was just like, what is the point, has just going to be a massive player I'm not in here for a player, I'm here for something serious. Speaking of their relationship, Paige added, it's been so good. This boy, I promise you, has simping and it's great, I love it. We see each other when we've got time off. Obviously, I'm living in Swansea and has in Newcastle and when we are away, we just keep in touch and text and whatever. But then what we tend to do when we come together, is have proper quality time. So. It works really well in our favor. Me and Adam know where we stand with each other, we know where we are at, we know what we're feeling, and we're just not really bothered about anyone else's opinions.